Well, welcome. Uh, Devo today, we're going to be opening our Bibles to John's Gospel, chapter 10, beginning with verse 14. This is in a portion of Scripture where Jesus is uh, declaring to them, and we'll read this here, I am the good shepherd. This is uh, where Jesus is describing himself as not a hireling, but one that loves the sheep and cares for the sheep. In other words, he's not just working for someone, and when there's a problem, he just kind of leaves it be and lets them go because they're not really his sheep. He's, you know, he's, he, he's a different concern is what he's indicating. He says, I'm the good shepherd, and I know my sheep and am known by my own. Not only does Jesus know you, but you can know Jesus. It speaks a very specific, clear relationship, doesn't it? And the shepherd and the sheep had a very unique dependency uh, on the sheep had a unique dependency on their shepherd and they had a lot of trust in their shepherd and uh, as the father knows me even so I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep and another and other sheep I have which are not of this fold them also I must bring and they will hear my voice so there's not only the Jewish, people uh, is a people group, remember, in the Bible. There's the Jewish people. Uh, that's one people group. The next people group is the Gentiles. That's anybody who's not a Jew is a Gentile. So there's the Jews and the Gentiles, two people groups described in the scriptures. Then we find this next people group that's formed out of both of those two groups. God forms another people group called the church, the body of Christ. And that's us as followers of Jesus Christ. But we come from maybe a Jewish background or maybe a Gentile background. Um, but we form a new people group, the church, the body of Christ. And he lays down his life. And I, this group that he forms... He says, I must bring along as well in the middle of verse 16, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. So true. Jesus is our shepherd. Therefore, my Father loves me because I lay down my life that I may take it up again. So he's speaking of the crucifixion and then the resurrection. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. I think it's so important for us to see Jesus and our relationship with Jesus as that shepherd who's watching out over the flock, the sheep. And I think it's so important, you know, if you're involved in ministry, like I'm involved in ministry or on, on any level, but if you're really involved in ministry, one of the things you, you, we find it's so important that even though I have an under-shepherd role, I have a, a role to care for people's spiritual needs and concerns, I recognize, though, that I am not the chief shepherd. The chief shepherd is Jesus, and he is the ultimate authority. He's the head of the church. And so he, I, I am just like everyone else, and, and so are you if you're involved in ministry, whatever your role might be. We are all dependent on the chief shepherd. And our role oftentimes is just to do those things that we've seen our shepherd do. We're to do those same things and to mimic that and to live that out. But boy, we have one chief shepherd. And you know, the relationship is special in that he watches out over us. He protects us. He provides for us. He makes sure that we have what we need when we need it. He also kind of looks over us. You know, the shepherd would form out in the open field, form with kind of thistles and little briars and, and kind of like tumbleweed type stuff. He would create this little uh, area out in the wilderness where when he'd be watching the flock, he'd create like a little pen. And then he have this one opening and the shepherd would lay in that opening so that no sheep would come or go in and out except that he would know about it. He knows they're coming and they're going. And the other thing is, is that shepherd would stand in the middle in the evening when the sheep would be coming into this little area that he had made, this little pen that he had made. He'd stand in that one opening and the sheep would pass right between his legs and he would touch them. And he would feel their face around their mouth, their legs, make sure that they hadn't gotten cut on anything or they hadn't 
uh, hurt themselves or there weren't bugs on them. And if there was anything that they need, he had a little satchel and he'd get down and get the ointment and put the ointment on, that healing balm that he would have place on those wounds and those areas where they'd gotten banged up or messed up out there in, in the field. You know, that's what Jesus does with you and with me. We, we, we come in under him and he just looks at it, checks us out, makes sure we're okay, cares for us, meets our needs. It's so important that we allow our shepherd that access to our life into our being and to care for us and meet us where we're at and to touch us and to care for our deepest needs. Man, the Lord loves you with a perfect love and we need to just be recipients of that and just accept it and be blessed by it. God bless you. Have a great day today. He is our good shepherd.